All right, welcome to our Silence on the Internet, a show where comedians and friends like talk about the most <laughs> random stories on the internet. <clears throat> nothing trending, nothing new usually. If you want to submit a story to us, you can. Just email us, internet at kevonstage.com. Today's esteemed panelists, Mel Mitchell, the baddest Mitch, Big Irish J, and Tony Baker. Ah, yes, drink water. To today's story <laughs> that we're kicking off, every monk in a Thai temple defrocked after testing positive for meth. A Buddhist temple in central Thailand has been left wow. without monks after all its holy, mil holy men failed drug tests and were defrocked. I guess they took their monk stuff off. Yeah. A local official said Tuesday, <laughs> four monks, out. including an <laughs> abbot at Buddhist temple in Pecha, Pechabun province, Bung Sam Phan district tested that positive for... That might be racist the way you said that. <laughs> you put a little name. twang on Bung it. Bung Sam Phan. Bung Sam Phan. District <laughs> tested <laughs> positive for methamphetamines on Monday. District <laughs> official Boon Lert. <laughs> Tenopathy told AFP. The monks were sent to a health clinic to undergo drug rehabilitation. The temple is now empty of monks, and nearby villagers are concerned they cannot do any merit making, he said, which involves worshippers donating food to monks as a good deed. Boon, <laughs> Boon Lert said more monks will who? be sent to the wait, temple. Wait, who? Who? Boon Lert said no. more monks will be sent to the temple to allow villagers to pr practice religious obligations. So they got to find all the new whole monks. Thing. Thing. So were they just doing meth, or did they put meth in the air? And why it's meth? They were doing uh, meth. The monks meth. didn't ease in with marijuana. <laughs> yeah. Like meth? They meth. No mushrooms. So was that meth lab? Yeah. Did they have a meth dealer? Looks like they, they were taking meth from. pills. They're selling meth the meth pills. Meth pills called Yaba sell for less than 20 baht, which is around 50 cents US. That's cheap. That's cheap. Not bad. They just sell meth there? <laughs> they sell meth in Thailand. You but know that's they be the making, opioid, right? They be making them drugs in, so in Asia. What's the Remember on uh, Frank Lucas movie? What's the uh, plant? Yeah, what, what's the oh, plant yeah. they be getting their hair wrong uh, from? Poppy, I mean... Uh, the poppy seed? Yeah, the what's poppy, that yeah. plant? The, op the opium. opium plant? Opium, opium, that's what it is. There you go. Yeah. Poppy plant got that opium. It's, it's and they be in East Asia. Asia. How yeah, did they well. discover that when they had the plant? Somebody, somebody went to do like... their obligations and the monks was high. <laughs> <laughs> Can you imagine a high monk? Right. It's funny, when they get fired, they snatch your hoodie off. <laughs> <laughs> this they snatch it all. It's just half a hoodie. You get on out of here. <laughs> Deep fry. Go on, get. And they just leave. That hair on lean. <laughs> they love. But like a bunch of hot monks. All, all the monks of them. in the temple and the abbot. All five of them. I bet that. Five. I bet that temple was clean though. <laughs> <laughs> Speak and stand. I don't know how I don't know how people are when they're high on meth. I don't either. I just assume I that they're know, like. I don't really that I feel like that's not a chill high. Was Breaking Bad was meth, weren't yeah. it? That's meth, it? yeah. But who who was doing it? I just remember them selling it. I don't remember. Was Train I never saw Train Spotting. When I think of meth, I, I think, think of like remember when Jesse was with them people, they were just kind of like passing out a lot. Oh, yeah, so, they so were they, all, would they were like, like smoking and they were oh, just like, like heroin. Oh. Yeah, it's like a I heroin. thought it was like a I don't think it's the upper. Okay, it's a Can y'all explain? I mean, I know what a monk is, but what monks be doing? Like explain like I'm five. What that monk go up there to go meditate <laughs> and shit, right? And they be quiet. I'm gonna look so up. So how what you do gonna be a high monk? I probably would have been up there for meditation, like because it's boring. <laughs> That's probably why <laughs> they're <was> boring <laughs> in these monk streets. <laughs> they probably was bored and hungry. Don't they be fasting? And they stuff be too? doing that too. Hungry and bored. Yeah, you know like, what man, we gonna do? Drugs. What if one monk lie, man? Take the, the pill, take the edge off. It's just you know. Dietary. I wonder who was the first monk to be like, okay, y'all, I got an idea. Right. <laughs> how about we take these pills? Right. They probably was like, nah. They was like, hit me out. <laughs> it had to be some monk that didn't know what was going on. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> the last like, monk man, to find out. They, the they were just putting it in teas and stuff like that. So they were like. <laughs> <laughs> this tea good as yeah. hell. I didn't think of a monk having to dress regular to go buy the drugs. Because <laughs> you can't pull uh, up to the like, drug corner monk, yeah. and monk stuff like, let me get a yaba. They're like. Where oh, meth you, you, somebody said methamphetamines keeps you awake for days. Yeah. Oh, snap. Reach a higher level of consciousness. All right. So that's... You, you can't, but you still... But you, you know what? When religious leaders do weird shit like that, they always have a religious reason. I wanted to be closer to... That's what mm -hmm. they say. Yeah. Yeah. Sometimes people just want to do drugs. They probably hallucinate. That's one of my favorite Chris Rock jokes. He was saying that, like, even if you ban all the drugs, he was like, a nigga put some alcohol and a lima bean in a baby bottle. <laughs> 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 Figure out how to get high. <laughs> uh, monks go on alms around in the morning, and the other activities today are morning chores, breakfast, and the main meal at 7 p.m. They gather for meditation, and they take precepts by the laity and the Dhamma talks. It's a lot of free time to do some meth. A lot of free time to do drugs. 
Big that was probably time. the best days of their life. And what do monks do now that you can't monk? You got big gaps they in your go resume. To get a job. You can't just work regular if you've been monking for tw- 20 years. And plus, they're like, right. why'd you get fired from being a monk? They're like, right. first of all, they lied on me. <laughs> said I was on <laughs> yeah. They yabba. said we were doing man. I wasn't on no yabba, bro. <laughs> and, I just meditated at a higher level. <laughs> Word go get around about that temple. <laughs> yeah. You used to be a monk. Which temple? Oh, it was the. Uh, <laughs> It looked like a crack house. You know nothing there. about this temple. It was, it was out of state. <laughs> you look familiar. I saw you in a new... You didn't see me no damn... And they got the, like, out stubble because their hair got to grow back. It was all with state, man. I'm from out of state as well. Uh, I mean, you know, it's just... <laughs> it's far. You trying to find a different temple. It's yeah, we, we was monks in the U.S. <laughs> Remember when Martin became a monkey at the half brain? Uh, <laughs> that was a crazy episode. Afro. That's wild, man. All of them, though. All the That's monks. why it's suspect to me. That all of them? All of them. They nah, you can't. If you, if the first monk <clears throat> is high, and if, if we all monks, uh-huh. and then one day I'm I'm meditating, and I'm just like, oh, man. man but it's the other way, right? Because they say it keeps you up. Oh, well, then... I mean, you could be up like this, though. You don't have to be up and active. Oh, Dude, I don't you, know what I'm you know what I'm saying? Up. He's still up. Tell me, like, you're a kid. How you standing up? And I'm like, bro, I'm on that yabba. <laughs> the who? The yabba, bro. Oh. Don't tell Jay. Yabba, dabba, dude. I was just, when you Let mentioned me... Martin, I was going to say, that's when you got me in trouble back Martin? in the all deaf digital oh, days. Yeah, sure and somebody did. just said, Jay don't like Martin. That's true. We did black people watch Martin for the first time. No, no white people. Or white people watch Martin <laughs> for the first time, and we couldn't find enough whites. So I was like, Jay, act like you don't like Martin. He was like, oh. this is like I was my like, I've show. seen probably his, every episode. He goes, ah, just, you know, make some jokes. Oh, and I was like, y'all ruined okay. it. Okay. Yeah. And then me and Ian. Yeah. And, yeah. Then, and both me and Ian. It's, yeah, everybody was like, this white devil doesn't deserve <laughs> yeah. to watch yeah. Martin. How dare he speak this on They set her. you up for the fail. Oh, because we had the black people watch Friends, Friends and Jay had never seen Friends. Yeah. He's seen every episode of Martin two or three times. He was yeah. like, you really should have me watch Friends. We were yeah. like, we're a racist company right now. <laughs> it doesn't work to have white oh. people watch Friends. That was when all dev was all... Black people do this, yeah. grabbing oh, penises dude. for the first time. Right. Like, yeah, that's Sunday right. Yeah, I look back. Nigga, we did... <laughs> Can you guess the penis blindfold? Do yeah. black people have the biggest penises? Uh, they should have called me. Why did anybody call me? <laughs> you were seven. <laughs> she was seven. You Kanisha awesome. bus grabbed B. Lou's meat. <laughs> oh, wow. B. Lou was in there, and Kanisha was good at smell. She could tell who had the biggest penis. She who could won tell... the biggest penis? Was it the black? Uh, I don't think it was a black dude. No. I think it was a white dude. No. Yeah, it was crazy. <laughs> we had... Uh, can you tell the titties of a woman? Ass. Uh, ass yes. Yeah. And them videos did stupid numbers. Of course. I mean, you Can know. you kiss and tell? I mean, it was just mm. filth, Lauren, filth. <laughs> Dude, those <laughs> comments, though, lit me up. They were yeah. mad yeah, at so black, Martin is precious in the black community. Oh, no, oh for I sure. Get it. For and sure. then, and hey. then some people like, they showed the dumbest Martin. It was like the Halloween episode. Mm-hmm. And they're like, why they do this episode? Of course. I was like, Dude. <laughs> Of all the episodes. <laughs> Y'all want to know something that's going to age me again? Oh, my God. You've never seen go. Martin? No, no, I've seen Martin. My mom was watching Martin when she went into labor with me. Come on, man. That's how young I am. <laughs> Uh, what was Martin? 92 to 96? 92. Yeah, something like yep. that. Yep. That's how young I am. My mom was watching Martin. Remember that episode where that lady gave birth in his living room with oh, the yeah. baby Lena shot from out into world. the kitchen? That <laughs> was she her. She projected out. That was her. <laughs> that was you. She was the baby I'm that the baby. he rinsed off in the sink. That so you only yeah. knew Martin. Shot right to the yeah. sink. Yeah. Like, I in. caught him. <laughs> I only, you only know Martin as reruns. I mean, I... Nah, you only know Martin's <laughs> reruns. You never ran That's home to make crazy. sure you was there no, on Fox. I never not. seen a new episode of Martin in like a time I can remember. Not really, no. I remember Martin. I remember, I remember Fresh Watch Prince. Out, I was really young, though. I Watch remember out. Fresh Prince. Like it's, <laughs> it's, like, it's, it's I hazy. remember the war. <laughs> I mean, I'm I remember, that, I remember Fresh, Fresh Prince. Prince in real time. It was It's very vague because Will Smith was my first crush when I was like two or three years old, and my mm. parents entertained it. You had a crush that early? I, I've been liking niggas for she a was long like, time. God, to the bathtub. <laughs> <laughs> Watch the previous episode said, to get that. I don't, that know, my, oh, I don't yeah. know my ABCs, but that's a man right that there. That early. And I have been chained to light skinned men that are a little dumb <laughs> since then. Oh wow. Who was your guys' first crush? Oh, uh, you know, uh Am I sidetracking by the way? I don't, this you know, whole podcast okay, is okay, sidetracking. Okay, right, okay. Wonder Woman. Uh, really? Linda Carter. Linda, yeah, Linda Carter. A white That's woman. What, I a saw that show, woman. Wonder Woman. She was spinning around. I'd be like, <laughs> <laughs> my eyes lit up. I was like, oh, 
Dude. Wonder Woman. Now, when you watch, I want to be like me. You want her to be like, that like that Wonder Woman? And she was born, and then she was in costume. I was like, oh. <laughs> I feel things. Wonder Woman, huh? <laughs> you know what's she's crazy? Pretty. She's still when good. you go, if you look she back is, on, it, on yo, Twitter. yeah, I'm like, as I remembered her, I was like, man, Wonder Woman was thick. But now when I look at, I'm like, she's nah, not she, thick was, at all. she was thick. Nah, but nah, thick nah, has nah. changed. Thick, thick has yeah. changed because uh, J Lo was thick. I'm like, this bitch ain't thick. I'm mm. thick. She had them cheeks. No, she's so. thick. She always J-Lo's had them cakes. Kind of thick. You know what I'm saying? She always had. There's different thicks. Yeah. You there's the Blizzard milkshake where you can turn over. There's like a regular milkshake. Like this also thick. It ain't no Blizzard. She ain't no, J Lo ain't no Blizzard. J, J Lo had them cheeks. But she she sold them sweatsuits. <laughs> she did. She sold them sweatsuits. She My first crush J was Cindy Crawford. Ah. Oh, Cindy Crawford. Cindy yeah. Crawford was in them Pepsi commercials, and yeah. I was like, it's a lot of white women you. up in here, and he gonna say the black woman. I already know it. He gonna say somebody like, uh, what's the name from Good Times or some shit. <laughs> it is oh, Thelma. No, now it was. Holy shit. Let me tell you something. <laughs> Thelma. I Let me tell you this. Holy shit. To this crazy. day. <laughs> to this day, Thelma from Good Times I knew is it. the best looking oh, TV so woman fine. of all time. Oh, yeah. She you is had to look best. her up? I you thought you were talking about Florida Evans. I was like, she is, no. <laughs> I thought y'all being funny. <laughs> I thought y'all being funny. I don't know what her name was. The rule. Florida okay. Evans? The rule. I didn't, I, oh, that Florida Evans was her name. I forgot. Florida Evans. I, but I, Thelma what? from Good Times is the finest TV regular she ever. Was, yeah, that was ever? Like, it's a bad yes. bitch. That was my who, crush. You know who, who is can you put I'm going to tell you. Her. Okay, so first let me answer your question. Cindy Crawford was my first crush until I saw Holly Berry on TV. Mm. Black woman wasn't on TV like that. Yeah. When I was a kid, I was watching mostly cartoons. Cindy Crawford was everywhere yeah. in the early 90s. Which one is I saw Holly that? Berry and I was like, all right. I will never, <laughs> I don't even identify with that no more. Yeah. Her. To me, I think the the it was TV probably regular. A, TV regular. Just TV. TV. Probably. I remember when Martin, they would make fun of Pam, and I was like, nigga, bad, uh, Pam is gorgeous. You putting Pam above uh, Above Gina? No, above Thelma. Thelma? Yeah. Mm. But for me, it was it was um Ashley. I had the crush Fresh on Prince. Ashley. Fresh Prince Ashley and Hillary. I was yeah. like, Hillary, Karen Parsons in Fresh Prince and then I, and then uh Major Payne? I got a crush on her in class act. Mm. Uh, Karen Parsons? Yeah, because when I watched The Fresh Prince, I was like, Ashley. Because it was like she was in my age range. So yeah, I was yeah, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's yeah. who I'm connected to. Yeah, then, that's how it's Then when me. I saw Class Act, I was like, Hillary. Though. I'll, I'll give you yeah. another one. <laughs> Erica Alexandra. Oh, yeah. Alexander. Oh, yeah. Living Maxine Single? Yeah. Shaw. Yeah. Oh, Living oh. Single? They were all beautiful. Everybody she looks the same. Oh, she yeah. does. She's been playing a lot of cop roles. Like, she plays yeah. a cop in a lot of movies. She plays a mom on the Wu-Tang series, too. She, she, She's yeah. good in the Upshaws, too. Yeah. That was my next, probably, big crush. Oh, oh man. She it took a while, you. though. That's a big guy. Justin Bieber or B2K. Or, I'm held on to it. Or man, that <laughs> behavior. <laughs> Okay, first off, it's B5. B5? <laughs> I never, that was them light-skinned boys. It I'll be light, sure again, them children. I had been, and it's not even, a, I had to unpack myself. Is this colorism, baby girls? It's tough. Hey, do you hate yourself? <laughs> Wait, who was These your These red niggas B5. have been. B5. Oh, he, they were just one of them. B5 is oh, the, the Diddy R&B group. group. It was oh, the R&B okay. group. I was obsessed with them. But I was going to say Alan Payne. Okay. Oh, I get Alan Payne. That was Alan a lot of y'all Payne. was feeling that. Alan Payne, Alan Payne was in them streets. Yeah, he was. Because I used to watch a lot of Nick at Night. And when the Cosby show, them seasons with Eric Alexander and oh. Charmaine uh-huh. and Lance. Mm. And I'm like, that's a oh, fucking man right there. Was on the Cosby show. I don't know show. much about much, but Lance is fine as fuck. He I want to be a piece Cosby of Lance. Show. And then also Mel Jackson. Oh, they love Mel Jackson. These, these, oh, these light skinned men have had so me to Mel so Jackson, long. Bumper Robinson. Oh, Bubba Robinson. Bumper Robinson Ooh. was killing. He was a soul Dory. food, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Mel Jackson he was a little bit of a shysty. He was yeah. disrespectful He's a, yeah, soul food. Because your wife, I told Cola, who the fuck is Cola? <laughs> I told her she got that Coke bottle shape. Boom! Yeah. Beat his ass right there in that job. He was asking for it. He was. He was, he was, he was for asking it. for that. Michael ass B. Is it Michael Beach who smashed uh, the cousin Faith? Yeah. yeah. His face when he got caught. Oh man, he, he, had it, he was like, uh. He, man. He, he, was, my ass. he was like, oh. Faith was fine. Though. Faith, you. Faith she had bad. a husband destroyer. Now I Look watched. I've seen so for the bunch, especially during the quarantine. I had nothing else to do, but I was just yeah. analyzing black movies. <laughs> Faith fine. meant well. Faith was just a hoe. She couldn't help it. Yeah. But the way Terry couldn't support, I can understand. If your husband is a SoundCloud rapper, I support not supporting it. But he had bangers. This nigga had Jodeci and yeah. Babyface he and Babyface that. Brothers. That was a fucking hit. You could have came to that club yeah. and supported that he shit. When a man to... don't feel supported, man, listen. And who was there? Faith was there. You Faith was around. at that concert. 
You come around with the support, you're going to be like, man. And then he played, no, 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 no. I saw it happen. I saw yeah. the spark. And I was like, they did, they tried to fight it. <laughs> Terry, Terry wasn't bringing it. That's a Terry good point. Terry was a bitch. Her point <laughs> of the music was, was solid. Is a good point. Yeah. The Terry music. had a lot of pressure on her, though. She did, though. Terry did. She Terry did. took all the Terry, pressure. Terry she got her nigga took by rap. her sister and then her little cousin. I understand Terry's wrath. Yeah, I get for it. Sure. There is a changing narrative that Big Mama is the village. She oh, is. she the and big it's all her fault. She gonna kill her family. Yeah. <laughs> They're not taking my leg. And yeah. that's that. <laughs> Stubborn, man. She had, somebody on Twitter was like, Uncle Pete's TV ain't got no guts in it. We up there watching a black screen. Man. <laughs> and y'all mad at Terry. He got dementia. You let your other daughter steal your first daughter, man. Yep. Mm. Wasn't Nia Long in there? Yeah. Yeah. She's she was Bird. Cola. Yeah. Yep. Let me tell you when I, my, them my first crushes, but the, the day I was like, this, I feel something. Y'all remember the movie Jason's Lyric? Yeah, yeah of course. Boy. I was in that movie. That's Ooh, Alan Payne. He put that necklace down that butt. I was like. <laughs> they I, had some love scenes boy, in that movie. They had a sex scene and the love scene in that movie. I shouldn't have been watching it. Because the sex was <laughs> when they <laughs> was in the Dang. store. Uh, yeah. She was, she was getting go banged out on the, on the cash register. Yeah. I was like, oh, we, we doing Again, it. But the Alan little Payne. necklace on the butt, I said, I, I love black women. When I, I was see, finally I old enough that. to watch it on my own time, that may have been a bathtub. I'm like, let me go take me a bath. <laughs> of course. <laughs> she going to kill herself. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Trying to put the VCR in the bathtub. And I was reading the article. The original cut was NC-17. And I don't know who directed that movie. I need to write it. Yes. I need to see the uncut version. Yeah, the uncut. I want to see the scenes that didn't make it. I hated Jada's hair in that movie. And I'm, not, the I'm not even a big I hate on women's hair, but it was just like cause cause Jada and Low Down Dirty Shame, that was prime Jada. Peaches, uh, ooh. Peaches that was and prime. Woo. Man, I was like, yo. Oh, she Jada. had a mullet a little bit on Jason. It was Third. just like was a, a weird, like a little curled mullet ate. thing. I was like, ah. Man. And then the other, Lisa Nicole Carson she, and Trench and they sex scene when they was on the island. Yeah. There's a lot of sex in that movie. Lisa it was. Nicole Carson. It, was, it was, was sexy. Cut. It was hot. It was sweaty. It was it was it Houston. Houston in the summertime. Man. Houston in the summertime. Houston in the summertime. Houston in the summertime. You summertime you make is it soul food. Yeah. Big B5, 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 beehive hair, long nails, yeah. kettle, gold. Dr- Lisa wow. Nicole Carson was saying Violence. Too. Yeah, she, she was. was. Jason, I'm not uh, saying that like she passed away, but you you know. No, she had range because that, and then she was she in did. Love Jones. Yeah. Now Love Jones. She was in Eve's Bayou, ruining relationships. Eve's Bayou. She was good. That was a good '90s hoochie. I love Eve's Bayou. <laughs> Eve's Bayou was good too. Love I watched movie. that during quarantine, like because adult eyes. I was like, damn, this good. So do y'all <laughs> think? Speaking of, have y'all watched Eve's Bayou recently? Yeah. I so what do y'all it. think happened? Do y'all think Sam Jackson raped no. Making Good, no. or do you think she was hallucinating? It made some up. She made I, some up. I didn't up. watch it recently. I actually don't think I've even seen East Body all the way through. She made some up. She admitted to it. But so I think because the spirit, it was what happened when she y'all ain't see, have you seen it? I saw it last it was month out. Like, on the watch okay. party. So I'm fresh. You saw it last it. night. Last month. All I'm saying, what a chance he was in the watch Funny you party. mentioned these by yeah. you. Last night I was watching. So I it's fresh it. on my mind. Was now. Journey Smollett in that? Yeah. yeah she sure. acted her ass mm-hmm. off. Yeah, she was killing it. She had been acting for a minute. She was, was in killing. it too. Yeah. I don't know, man. I think I think Sam was doing some weird shit, but I think she had a weird, what's the um, Minerva complex? The, uh, the opposite of the Oedipus complex. When the girls be in love Big with their words. daddy. Oh, I've never, I never even heard, heard of this. Yeah. Y'all never heard of the Oedipus complex? I, 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 I figured I it would exist, but I didn't know the I didn't The know opposite term. is the Minerva complex. Oh, okay. I think oh, she okay, had a cool. complex. Two things I don't know. That's you know why. Oedipus, com- Oedipus complex from uh, Baby Boy. You got an Oedipus complex. You want your mom. I just you want your mom. She my one. I think of being Rames was wildly disrespectful in Baby Boy. Yeah. Like he was going to make Tyrese pay for stealing stuff. Electra. Electra complex. That's what it is. Thank y'all, baby. Electra. Not Minerva. I don't know where I got Minerva from. Being Rames was cooking Breakfast in socks but only. And <laughs> it was unnecessary. That was ridiculous. It was un. That was mad ridiculous. <laughs> just look, look no, back. I don't no. want your ball hair in my fucking eggs, nigga. He had an apron on. <laughs> he did. He did. He had an apron so on. One of my favorite scenes. Baby Boy has been played so much that it has lost the drama feel of it. Yeah. It's now a comedy. Mm-hmm. Oh, Correct. for sure. But Tyrese. When he relaxed after we talked to Melvin, yeah, you don't, he thought he really you don't did have with your yeah, son. Yeah. yeah, I seen your son. <laughs> he laid back. He thought he killed and it. And then Melvin said, ah, you're Call for your mama. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> that man's <laughs> Tyrese. 
He came in there fast. Oh, oh. he came in there fast. His yeah. arm was big as hell, dog. Oh, it looked that like was a good time. Ty- Tyrese's head was so small in that arm. I was like, he choked oh, out. I don't care what nobody. Baby Boy is a good ass movie. I oh, love it. It's oh, it's so good. And there's so many quotes that apply to life. Oh. I think AJ Johnson did a great job. She was like, Mama got to have a life too. She was Absolutely. great. And then, like, she especially being a scorned movie. woman in my new scorned woman era, when she was like, You ain't dumb, baby. You just in love with a man. I said, You know what? <laughs> AJ Johnson you know was my Shireen, favorite right. actor in that movie. Me too. Mm-hmm. Because he, she wasn't she was never over the top, but she was emotional. Remember when she was Perfect. telling him like she was telling him like you need you need to go do your own shit and just watch your back. And she you was like she got emotional anymore. real quick. Yeah. I was like, see, this is this is she, just she subtle. Was, she just wanted to be in her yeah. garden. Exactly. I she felt like bro, I've been raising you forever. Yes. My mama gotta have we still say mama gotta have life. I said it the other day. One thing I love about being black. <laughs> We get a quote from a movie and oh, just yeah. add it to our yep. life. Right, don't we? We. What? <laughs> oh, my bad. We. It's okay. Sorry. My fault. <laughs> we like go with. I heard go with God crispy on Sister Act 2, uh, and I've used that ever since. You wanna <laughs> but anyway, um, next story. Never seen Sister Act 2 all the way through. That's my <gasps> reveal. <laughs> it was good having you on the show. Don't just keep looking at <laughs> so Are you being for real? <laughs> Look. Tony. Tony. It, Anthony Charles I mean, I Baker. Seen it. <laughs> I was just keep looking Anthony at Anthony Charles it's Baker. It's okay to not see Sister Act 1, but you go Absolutely. see Sister Act 2. How did you... How if you, you want to be somebody... Sister, if you want to go somewhere... You better wake up and, and pay, pay attention. attention. You is the movie person. That's what you <laughs> Come do. Come join the chorus. The mighty, mighty chorus. Tony. <laughs> Tony! Has your guys' friendship taken a little bit of a hit? I, can, I am flabbergasted. <laughs> By the this way. is way worse than me not knowing about Anita Baker. Infinitely. How? How much have you seen? How far did you get? Where did you stop? Lauren he Hill. just saw Sis. Lauren, I saw Lauren Hill singing and stuff. You know. Lauren Hill singing Sis. and stuff? Tony. C- Lauren, C- you don't High. know about C- Cole Beans C- and C- Collard C- Green? City oh. High was in there. Cole Beans. Oh. It's just so many. It's better than the first. It made it made oh, subs, it made you way less. The first get one. the first one out of it here. Made, it made way less at the box office than the first one. <laughs> did you not watch it's it because it made less? Why didn't you? Why haven't you went back and watched <laughs> if it? If you now? don't get on Disney Plus as soon as you get home and watch that film, Mel <laughs> Mitchell was born in two thousand six and she watched <laughs> <this> at <laughs> least a hundred times. I wore that VHS out. Not even once, Tony. <sighs> Tony. Rotten tomatoes. <laughs> when Jesus, you are making a choice now. You are. Why are you sticking to these guns? Just life be happening, man. Tony, life, you life, be life, life yeah. comes at you pretty fast. <laughs> Get on your Patreon. You need to have uh, a watch party and watch it. It's all not way. streaming nowhere. It's on Disney Plus. You just make this shit up. <laughs> <laughs> he just Tony's like, I don't have. It's not streaming nowhere. Yeah, yeah. He they, made a move. I feel like Bishop. I feel like Bishop at these shot the dude. Like, what were you doing? It? He made a move. <laughs> That's all he had. So uh, did you did you see it in the VH? You, so you didn't go to theaters, obviously. Nah. Somebody rented it and you just left. I what never, happened? I never rented it. You've never even seen a second of it, huh? I seen I seen uh, pieces. You seen the pieces I've on the YouTube pieces, or on sure. TV? No, like uh, <laughs> here we go. At, at the house. Oh, okay. And you never thought for my black cultureness, I need to. I sit was down. just like, once I saw it in theaters and it didn't do as well, I judged it. <laughs> you Oh, I was like, because because comedy sequels, man, is is tough. That's the one of the majo- best sequels. The though. majority of them don't work. So I was like, man, look out. And then when it came to video, I was just like, you know, all right. I was just, this was '93, man. Tony, Give me the action. It's, it's been 30 years. I mean, you, it's yeah, infinitely it's, better than the first. It's literally like, is it really? Up yes. the oh like I'm not even. Is just it saying. because it's blacker? No, it is a. <laughs> I like Sister Act One. The, the music's better, better. The the cast. I mean, it, maybe it connected with it more. And I like Sister Act One. Yeah. Was Whoopi a Goldberg a bigger star coming off of One? Because she when did she do Ghost? Because well, well, she was the highest paid actress for that. Wasn't well, she? One was like it was official. Like yo, Whoopi Goldberg is here. Is is big here? Because I think she got the biggest like, paycheck no, that Color year. No, Color Purple was in like eighty five, so she had been that girl. No, no, no. no but, but it was she like, was like she didn't have a box office to well, back yeah, it up. Well, yeah, I know. I'm saying like this is like in her prime. So she won a, she won the Academy Award for Ghost that came yep. out. 1990. Mm-hmm. Uh, Sister Act was 90. I think it was, I 192. I think it was 91, if I'm not mistaken. Sister Act 2 was 92. 
Sister Act Two was ninety three. Sister Act Two was ninety. <laughs> Sister Act. <laughs> Sister Act was ninety two. Ninety two. Oh, I so didn't the sequel that. came out too fast. It was another thing. That was two, 90, 92 and ninety three. That is that is pretty fast. For that's fast. That's, that's a fast. But next year is is. <laughs> I mean, they right. had to go right back Put into some development. Put in it. Because Sister Act was a smash. It was just like, yo, this movie made over 100 mil. Yeah, yeah. And so it was just like, all right, Whoopi Goldberg salary going up. What'd she get for that? It was a lot. For Sister Act? Two. I'm, I'm, she got oh, more she probably got one. a lot for Sister Act 2. She got a lot for one, too, right? Maybe. May 29th, 92, and then the other one came out this December look, 10th, let me, let me see if I can find the salary. That's a How very you quick turnaround. Years that movies Tony you know, a little bit on movie nerd, yeah. man. Even movies I, I never saw. Over there. My he, spectrum. He, when it comes to movie stuff, he also just spends a lot of time doing it. Mm. But it's weird. That's why I'm really surprised you haven't seen it. And you've done seen Aliens how many times? Oh, <laughs> you could take one I of them that annually. <laughs> damn near. You could take one of them. But it's action. Action is my favorite genre, not musicals. Shh. We got paid seven to twelve million for Sister Act Two. In 1990. Two? Yeah. That's a bad. That's good money. And she didn't have to do nothing for real. Bless she had a net worth of seventy million dollars, but she was getting paid. Dang, Tony, this yeah. is surprising. <laughs> if I'm you, shocked. if if they had you kidnapped and they were like one of your friends has to see Sister Act Two, if you, you get never, it wrong, you never think I, it was we me. would yeah. die. I mean, Jay ain't seen it. I have seen it. Oh, all right. I was just <laughs> trying to get the heat on. Yeah. <laughs> Blame the white man. <laughs> Jay I went, I went to the either. theaters to support. Did you really? Yeah. Yeah, oh, damn, that wasn't boring. Me and he Matt, didn't see Mark the Garland. theaters. I didn't see no movies in theaters. Yeah, man, it was against our religion. Y'all wasn't putting the money. What? In. My past, this, mm. I never got this even as a child. We couldn't go to the movies, but we could watch movies. He's like, nah, you can't go to the theater, but you can What's watch. Wrong with we the could, <laughs> I found out later his son had sex in movie theaters, uh, so we see? all got punished. See, and I was like, we want to go. Why That's hilarious. I, I was go so mad church. when I found out. That. That's some church shit. I just told you this. Theaters are the devil. That's man. why I don't go to church, man. <laughs> just Pastors right. be crooked, man. They be projecting nah, their own shit on the on the congregation. My family, the whole sanctuary, I mean, the whole congregation, it was like, you can't go to the movies. Also, bowling alleys were the devil. Bowling alleys and movies were the two what? big devils in our church. What's happening? But we could watch <laughs> movies at home. So we just waited for And also, we didn't have no money anyway, so it wasn't mm. like, you know, we was waiting for it to come on VHS you go anyway. go bowling alleys? That's what I was in. I was in basic at Maranatha. Shout out Maranatha Church, brothers and sisters in Christ. Jay, Jay grew up in a black church. <laughs> brothers but we and used to. Sisters in Christ. Yeah, basic, That's what we black girls I'm from. a basic bitch. Uh, no, but uh, yeah, we used to like go to bowling alleys and uh, yeah, I don't. You couldn't go to bowling alleys. That's go to bowling alleys. What was the devil about that? Too much dark. Equals sex. I guess that was his logic. What? what? I like, never got it. The bowling it. alley makes more sense than the movie theater. Why? Why? Because the bowling alleys can get sketchy. These people being there smoking and, and they could, you could the smoke bowling alley. In the, yeah. At that time, see, back when we were growing up, you could actually smoke indoors. So in the uh, <laughs> bowling, <laughs> bowling alley is gritty, man. Oh, man. We used to go, well, we had vacation Bible school, and that shit was lit. Oh, that I went to vacation favorite. Bible school. Yeah, I love it. fun, and we, we had field trips. We yeah. watched this movie called The Lady in White in Vacation Bible School. I don't know that one. It was a, it was a ghost story movie, and I'm like, yo, why are we watching this here? <laughs> the kid was murdered. Her ghost kept coming. The ghost kept reliving her murder, so she would a ghost would go to the schoolhouse and get murdered out every night. She would relive it every night. And they so turned it, that on in Vacation Bible School? Yes. They thought it was a communion movie. They're like, Man. the lady in white. They used to white. scare us in church, so that's probably what it was. Yo. Like, you gonna go to hell and it, it was creepy because it was murdered. like, and that kid got locked in the, in the uh, closet at the school because these bullies locked him in there, so he was in there all night. So he was in there on the shelf, scared by himself, and then the ghost came in. And he was like, and then the ghost saw him, and then she, and then she got her death reenacted. You don't see the killer, you just see her getting strangled. And then he watched, and then the killer comes back in in real life looking for something in that closet, and the little boy is up there. And they didn't come at the end and tell you why we watched that? Oh, yeah, it was just, it was just her, her soul couldn't rest because her murder wasn't solved. That's, her that's mom, heavy. You her were mom ended up killing herself <laughs> because she lost her daughter. It was kid. like, yeah, it was So they heavy. came and was like, y'all soul got to rest with Jesus? Huh? What What were they wanting y'all to get what out of the it? Yeah. Of it? I, I don't know why we were watching it. They were like, like, sorry guys, Sister Act 2 was checked was out, so we're going to watch Lady in White. <laughs> I was like, this movie good. I think we watched Critters 2 as well. <laughs> what was happening in that time? They were letting us pick the movie. You were in a cult. They were like, Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John, Critters 2, Lady in White. You know what movie terrified me as a kid? Huh. The people under the stairs. 
Uh, that scared you? What? Uh, the ro- the roach? Soft. Them people was in there. I was yeah. like, soft. <laughs> the movie was uh, soft. Really? I ain't yeah. horror movies anyway. Oh, yeah. But yeah. that was, I was like, this is terrifying. Fool. The movie I could, that scared uh, me was Signs. That shit fucked me oh, up. Oh, Signs. I soft. love Signs. Signs. Fuck signs me. is the that alien with yeah. Yeah. asthma. Yes. Water. Yes. The I had asthma. The alien with asthma. Well, I no, had no, asthma. No, the, kid had, the kid had asthma. That <laughs> yeah, saved his yeah, life, yeah. right? Yeah. He had like, oh, his lungs were closed. The I was water. like, oh my God, the alien gonna keep me because I got asthma. He gonna go on my lungs. <laughs> and then, asthma was gonna help you. And then, but it was scared because it was like he was gonna seek me out. I still didn't want to be touched by the alien. Yeah. The alien was scary Signs was good, though. That alien was like, the alien he was like, <laughs> he's like, ah. He like gave Bigfoot, him the, the yeah. Bigfoot. Yeah, that's yeah, what totally. happened. Melissa was live one time, and I ain't know, and I was in my draw, <laughs> and I walked by her camera, and she <laughs> caught the picture, and I looked like that dog on Alien Inside. So I was like, and I was big, because uh, you ain't paying attention, you be breathing out. Uh, so when she caught me, I had just breathed out. I'm at home, you know, at home, you ain't got nothing to hide. <laughs> so I looked at the down. picture, I was like, this behind? <laughs> they always said that right before they show the alien, they speak in another language. Yeah. They like, it's behind. And then, it's behind. And that's so crazy. <laughs> oh, man. And the, the way the music and then yeah. Joaquin Phoenix was, was like, like, oh, dude. Yeah. His reaction. That movie is great. What, I love what was the scariest movie as a kid? Under oh, 10. The Thing. Uh, With Kurt Russell. That movie ruined my <laughs> goddamn life. <laughs> I saw, because my brothers was just watching all kind of stuff, and I was just little, and they would just be watching Nightmare on Elm Street, Evil Dead 2, and I'm just on the outskirts, like, and I'm just trying to be nosy in the mix, but I would always see too much. I would stick around too long, be like, what y'all watching? I'll be behind the couch. And I peeked over, and I was like, all right, this movie's not too bad. Because I love movies, so I wanted in on it. Yeah, yeah. But it would be one. And then, man, when he was about to... um, that dude was on the table, and he was gonna give him the the electric. Oh, yeah. He put his, he put his arms on the electric, and his whole torso opened up, and it was teeth. And he bit the dude's arms oh. off, and then the head came off, and the bottom was a spider. I was like, <laughs> what? Oh yeah. I didn't sleep for a week. No, thank oh, you. Boy. It's crazy what you remember. Like, oh like, my so god, how old were you? That? I, so <laughs> I had to be like. Seven. Oh, uh, yeah. Because the movie, I, we, it wasn't when it first came out. It was like a, a reviewing, uh, though. Because it came out 82. I didn't see it then, but it was like later on. I was up all <laughs> night. I was Lionel Richie. Like, oh, all dude. night long. <laughs> all night. Yeah. All <laughs> night long. <laughs> yeah. I was so in school. Just, just, oh. To the heavens. To this day, that's the scariest movie I've ever seen. But it's Still? so good, though. Yes, because if you put yourself mm. in that scenario, mm-hmm. it's terrifying. It's the perfect horror movie, in my opinion. What about you, Jay? Uh, there's three things I remember. One, when I was five, my dad took me to Jaws when oh, I was yeah. five. Wow. And my mom was pissed. And I didn't I didn't go in swimming <laughs> pools for, like, years. If I masturbated in the tub, that was done. You, know? uh, uh, <laughs> that if you haven't too, seen that episode, they're going to be like, why do they keep pointing her and talking about the bathtub? Right. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, go back to the last episode with Mel Mitchell if you don't sorry know why. About that. Uh, <laughs> that freaked me out. I remember Invasion of the Body Snatchers. Oh, yeah. My dad took me that. When the, the dude, the human head on the dog, yeah, 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 it just came up and it was like. Yeah. <laughs> and Crazy I was like, visual. what? It's like this fat bulldog, but it's a human head. And then, Crazy uh, visual. And then the other one. <laughs> that Because he, he just looked at me and went. <laughs> yeah, man. <laughs> and, and then the other mm. thing that, if you explain it, it sounds dumb, but the first Friday the 13th, when Freddy's arms stretch across. Oh, Nightmare on the Street, yeah. Yeah. He was yeah. coming down that little it, alleyway, like it, yeah. If you see it now, it looks dumb, but like at yeah, the time, yeah. just the idea that you couldn't run around yeah. him. Yeah. And I was like, yeah. That, that visual was, was scary. little Irish. Yeah, 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 yeah. 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 Was, that's a, yeah. yeah. <laughs> that's a look at the show. Movie. Oh. Yeah. Imagine seeing up. that as yeah. a kid. That is yeah. weird. Yeah. Dude. And the graphics were good then. Dude, that, let, me, let me tell you. And he how, just walked up and he went. Let me tell you how scary I was. My brothers were talking about Nightmare on Elm Street. They were just talking uh, about it. And I, I was behind the couch again. You was behind that couch a lot. Yeah, but I, I missed the beginning of their conversation. I just rolled into the back of the couch. Yes, yeah, this is one dude that 
He kills you when you're sleeping. His name is Freddy Krueger. He kills you in your dream, and you die in real life. Oh. So imagine being a kid, hearing that, without like, hearing Let's put that a nightmare a movie. in your head. I didn't hear the movie part. I yeah. just heard, it's this dude, Freddy Krueger, <laughs> yeah. killing people in hear. the sleep. And then you, if he, I was like, <laughs> why you back here crying, man? Freddy, man. <laughs> Freddy Krueger's oh. also a great name for a villain. Oh, absolutely. Oh, that's, like, he had, great. that's a fantastic name for yeah. a killer. Freddy Krueger. Mike Myers, he could sell insurance. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Freddie Krueger gonna kill you at night. Right. For sure. He, he don't have no He don't he, have no choice but to kill he people. He asked with a name right. like Freddie Krueger, you what you gonna do? Be a little league coach? Man. You, you gonna murder in dreams. <laughs> you got your face melted off. You, you don't, don't buy no cutness from to... Freddie Krueger. <laughs> oh yeah. yeah. And you said Signs was the scariest movie you saw? Signs. And then also there were like the urban legends of elementary school that used to scare the shit out of me. Did y'all have Bloody Mary at y'all's school? Yeah. Hell yeah. Bloody Mary scared, scared the, the shit. shit out it was of like me. a week, it was like second grade. That was all that was going with Bloody Mary. And that scared me. That shit was like, you turn the lights on, she come in the bathroom and kills yeah, you. Yep. Somebody died before it. I was mm. like, ah! And then I because, still think about her to this day. Honestly, like, sometimes <laughs> like, this bitch is going to pop out one day. And I was time, just, I was freshly <laughs> skipped in the grade. So I just got from first grade to second grade, right? They skipped no, me in second you. semester. Right, thank look you. Look at you. You couldn't tell me shit. The but they was like, we going to fuck with this young bitch because she's six and we're seven. Damn. So... <laughs> They were like, and I had told everybody at school, my dad used to take us out of school to go see movies, right? Uh -huh. That was our thing. So he was like, going to pick us up early. I told everybody because I couldn't hold water. Yeah. I was like, my dad, come pick me up. We're going to see The Mummy. And we're going to see The That's Scorpion. That's why they didn't like you at school. They, oh, yeah, they hated my ass. So I was like, my daddy, come to pick me up. We're going to see The Mummy Returns. Yes. With that was The Rock in it. Because The Rock was in it. We loved The Rock. Yeah. Like, he, this is when wrestling was at his peak. Yeah. He mm. lived in Miami. Him and my dad went to the same barber. It was a whole uh -huh. thing. So I was like, we going. But they was like, oh, you got to be careful because Bloody Mary is in The Mummy. Didn't make sense as a, an adult. But at Oof. six years old, I was like, bitch, she's in the movie? They were like, yeah, <laughs> she's going to be in the movie and she's going to come kill you. And I was like, oh, oh my God, Bloody Mary is in The Mummy. I was terrified. My dad was like, what the fuck is wrong with you? And I was just like, they said Bloody Mary going to be in the movie. <laughs> Did y'all still watch it? Yeah, day? I still went. Okay. And you mm. was like, man, she wasn't even I'm in like, this. Bloody Mary, y'all done told me she was gonna come kill me in a goddamn movie. Because that's a scary Ooh. urban legend. They was like, how did it get to every school? Who made it would this be shit like, up? it would be like different variations of it. It's like, all right, you say Bloody Mary, all it all it really is is when you throw water droplets on the mirror, they just turn red. That's Bloody Mary. And then another one was like, she'll show up and slash your face. Yeah. And another one is like, if you ever call her, she's gonna show up and stay in your mirror that's every time you turn the lights that's on. That's the one I heard. Uh, and I was like, no, all I heard of she was gonna come kill you. Like, yeah. I'm gonna I tell you what used to scare me too. Unsolved mysteries. Oh, Robert Stack's voice alone, but one particular episode, Man. they was in the pool and they heard children's laughter and uh -huh. the little feet had oh. went on the water in the pool. Yeah, I was like, I'm dead, dude. See, hearing, I'm gonna die. Hearing little kids laughing, and, but you don't see them is the creepiest shit. Jay, it is, <laughs> and their Demons. laughs are not even sinister. It's, it's right. just <laughs> that disconnect. Oh, dude. And then in the episode, the swing was going yeah. with no kid. I was like, oh. we're. I, Kids are scary. Why did they make just unsolved mysteries so scary, man? They just unsolved stuff. They, they don't just, even have yeah. nothing. To, they I'm, robbing a bank in this episode, yeah. and we never caught them. <laughs> Why is it? Do, 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 do. <laughs> it's all foggy. Because he ghost up, did it. It's Tony, oh, be if, like, if you tell somebody what you ate yesterday uh, under this here we music, go, do it, do it. it's going to be scary. Here we go. Here we go. So last night... <laughs> I had a good bowl of cinnamon toast crunch. I put almond milk in it instead of whole milk. And I had a good time. It was a good ass time. <laughs> you need the light. And I finished that bowl and drank the milk. It was a good ass time. I'm going to tell you what scared me. He asking us for help. If you. And nigga, I'm not helping y'all. If Dude. you see these kids, the disembodied kids laughing, Me? call us. Yeah. I'm not calling nobody. Call us tonight. Yeah. He really had a little trench coat. He did. He was pointing to Call your soul. Pop. If you, yeah. you, Kevin Frederick, yeah. me, Robert Stack. I kind of, I don't want to see if those. If you kids. know who killed this woman and where the killer is, <laughs> yeah. call us tonight. Because uh, you could be next. That's what I'm <laughs> yeah. Did anyone ever solve these mysteries? No, no, no it was unsolved. <laughs> there's it was no all, solved mysteries. This shit was made the fuck yeah, up. There's no solved. He <laughs> sold it though. Oh man, he sold it, it himself. It was always creepy in that beginning, oh. man. Robert Stack. Robert Stack, man. He was the voice of Ultra Magnus and Transformers. All right, here we go. Finna close. What's the story about the last time you cried? Random question generator. 
Let's start with you, oh. Mel. Oh, man. Shit. I yeah. cry every three days. I don't fucking know. <laughs> I just, I be crying. Mel told us in the green room that Love Drought, Beyonce Love Drought song. Oh, that is my cry song. Make her, uh, mm. make her cry. I'm not familiar with this. Ten song. times out of nine, I know you're lying. And nine times out of ten, ten, I know you're trying, so I'm trying. It's on Lemonade. Tony, you don't like that album. I do yeah, like Lemonade. trying to be you there. Do? Yeah. But you don't like Renaissance? It, it's not that I don't like Renaissance. I just never went back. Well, you never went to see back to see Sister Act two either. <laughs> so three days ago you cried over. <laughs> oh. so I'm, 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 my cycle on. I just I don't know what I fucking cried about. I'd be crying. Yeah, hey, I'm going through her, a her, her room didn't have a bath. <laughs> <laughs> no. No. Uh, Where the jets? Ain't not no to... jets in this bitch. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> <laughs> we can't keep calling this back, though. I forget. Oh, yeah, yeah, episode. my bad. You can't go back fault. and watch the episode. Uh, oh, You'll get it. Uh, not to bring the, the, my dad's funeral, but it was mm. also like, there was a lot of laughter. I mean, like, all of his buddies and, and uh, was everybody's telling stories, but I did tear up off TikTok. I don't know what it is. Every, I, I don't know if you this. If you, ever since you got your dog, I don't know what it is. As soon as I got wrinkles, now I get thing of, of people putting their dogs down. Uh, oh, and I'm why like, why you are look you filming this? this? Jay, I saw one of these, and I didn't realize that's what was happening yes. in the video. She was just like, you got to be there till the end. And she was And then you the see dog. the guy behind give the injection? No, I didn't even oh. see that. Why are they doing this? They was too close in. She had, she had a big old uh, Rottweiler. Yeah. She was holding it. I think I like, you got one. You know, been, it was like we've been friends forever. And I'm just thinking it's one of these, like, I love my dog. And then the dog tongue go out his mouth, and he. I and said I said, that one. I said, "What? Hey, what?" <laughs> then I yeah. backed up in the comments. I said, "Nigga, this is a euthanized. Yes. Why you? I don't want to be here. Why are you recording this dog? Ever Why since you I got, have this on TikTok, uh, dude? Ever since I got wrinkles, dude. and I'll see that, and I'm like, get this the fuck up, dog. You shouldn't be able to post that. You and gotta also, tell me up front in the caption. Also, I don't know somebody being watching. like this. All right, all right. So let me let me really see it. Go ahead and give it to me. Give it to me. And you're like, right. well, let's, let's let's frame let this. Let's get the lighting. Okay, go. That's I'm ridiculous. Like, yeah. I'm like, that, that, I'm Why like, are you Ugh. taping that? And then I'll look at wrinkles. I'm like, don't ever die. He's That's like, why I'm down. looking at Monty. And I'm like, huh? man, I, you, be like, I'm you die, die on me. Yeah, I, I didn't it's get coming. it. I ain't going to hold you. I didn't get it before. Oh, dude. I was one of those people. Yeah. Y'all love the pet too much. Y'all love the pet dog. Boy, when I told you I got that dog, I say, oh, and we're only one year in. Oh, yeah. You get 10, 12, 15 years yeah. in, that dog done. He be like, I be watching TV, have my little feet crossed. He come and put his head on my oh, foot. Dude. I said, man. I know, yeah. dude, you all right? Get your up. You dude, feel okay? They your friends, the, man. They your friends. Is so fucking sweet. The other day yeah. he was uh he was trying he always like scrapes the the blanket to try and get under it, uh -huh. and so I'm just like watching TV, and then I hear him just start going. Ah, ah. He got his dew claw hooked in it, and I was like, oh god, <laughs> wrinkles, no. Are you all right? <laughs> wrinkles, no. <laughs> yeah. Wrinkles, no. Wrinkles, no. Such a funny name. Wrinkles is a great name yeah. for a dog. Don Wrinkles. Yeah. Wrinkles. wrinkles, no. Wrinkles, yeah. Me and that boy had a dog, and I never had a dog before, so I didn't give a fuck about dogs. And then I got him. You know the episode of Family oh. Guy when Brian's like, until you have a child? Yeah, Until yeah. you have... I love that dog. Then when the, the breakup was fresh, I missed the boy and I missed the dog. Mm. And I was at the gym and this girl at the gym, one of the trainers has a dog and he just be in the gym and the dog came up to me and was like, oh. And I was like, you know. <laughs> like, your eyes are like, they you. know. They be knowing like, no, that? They be oh. knowing. Pets be known. When I, I when my brother cut. passed and I came home, Monty was yeah. like, man, it would be right here for yeah. you. I was like, what do you know? I'll He's be like, your brother. Trust me. Same thing knowing. when my pops passed. Same thing. They I'm like, know, bro. <laughs> I don't know how they know or who told them. <laughs> they, they can probably they like they smell energy. tears or some shit. And yeah, they, be like, they can smell a lot of stuff. <laughs> yeah. I be seeing on TikTok the, the dogs... Uh, uh, people have diabetes. Oh yeah, and yeah. The, they'll they'll like bump your nose or bump your shoulder, and then you stick the hand out, and they'll tap your hand up if your blood sugar's too high or Damn. down. It's oh, amazing. Wow. And the dog is telling you you need to you need to check your blood sugar. So I was watching this That's another crazy. TikTok, Ain't and no this lady said she that. found out she had a heart murmur <laughs> because the lady had a heart problem, uh -huh. and her dog was nudging the lady, and she was like, "This is gonna sound weird, but this, my dog is like a service dog, yeah. I have a heart issue." You should probably get your heart checked out. And yeah. she said, That's how I found out I had a heart murmur. Wow. Because the dog was like, Also, you. The yeah. dog be like, you, He was snitching. <laughs> like, <laughs> your cats are just looking at you. Them artists is like, clogged. I can smell <laughs> it. <laughs> you better go into the people. They be showing love too, <laughs> man. Tony, you remember the last time you cried? Oh, yeah. I cried yesterday. Did you? Yeah, man. You know, because my breakup is fresh too. So I got the breakup. Uh, I cry with Serene all the time. Yeah. So it's like, and to, to what y'all talking about, when, when I found out Serene passed, 
the cats was like looking at me. Mm. Really? Yeah, I was bawling, and the cats was like, it was like extra, like midnight busting in the room. Like you good? Like he don't normally bust in the bedroom. Yeah, like that. they're not allowed. He got in there like. And then Dapper just kept looking at me, like, full eye contact. And I was like, yo, y'all be knowing. And in the midst of it, I was just looking at them like, what y'all looking at, man? <laughs> but I like, Cass be knowing. Yeah. Like, so, I ain't gonna hug you, because fuck you, but you yeah. <laughs> But I see you, though. Yeah. And this is my, this, it was is, like, this is like a hug. Mm -hmm. If I were a dog, this would be a hug. Yeah, they and I want you to know, it. the last time I cried, was, once my brother passed, I, I've already been emotional, but I ain't yeah. cry like that. When Jay cried, I mean, when Jay passed, I be crying all the time. Yeah. yeah. The last time I cried hard, I cry all the time now. Mm -hmm. Little yeah. thought. But that cry. dog on Black Panther movie, oh, yeah. boy, For sure. For you, sure. when they, I cried the moment it opened. Mm -hmm. But when she sat down at that beach, my brother, and that <laughs> baby was there, and yeah. she was, and, and Chadwick, because I was sad about Chadwick too. Yeah. And then my brother, it was a lot. My family was. Yeah. Uh, uh. Chadwick Jason. Uh, uh. I mean, people were like, "Are y'all okay?" No, yeah. like we was in the parking lot of the AMC by my house, uh. hugged up like the end of Martin. Like uh, uh, uh. people was like, "Beep beep," they trying to get by. Yeah, move, stuff. man. Dog, Crying we family. cried. Oh. I yeah. cried harder the second time I watched it. First time I was able to keep it together. The second time I was. Folded. You watched that twice, but I couldn't watch Sister Act two what? once. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> I'm about to put that on Instagram right now. Uh. Thank you for watching. I saw this on the internet. If you want to submit a story or you want to tell Tony how to watch Sister Act two, you can do that at internet at kevonstage dot com. Uh, this has been Mel Mitchell, Big Irish J, Tony Baker. We'll see you guys next time. Bye. <laughs>